So TikTok is now the it go when it comes to beauty hacks. I'm talking specifically skincare, makeup, as well as wigs. I tried four wig hacks that have gone viral and I'm letting you know which I think work and which I think are not necessary in my opinion. Let's get into hack number one. So hack number one, you're using a spritz to melt in the lace. So it gives an even better scalp-like look melted in lace what lace all the things that you know as well as removing that white residue or that white cast that you may see on your lace so i tried it and this one i believe works i think it's because of the formula of the spritz it's very light and it is a holding spray so it will melt the lace in to your skin for most people what they do is they use your normal got to be or any hairspray or glue gel and then they finish it off with the spritz so a spritz is used as kind of like a finisher this hack works this hack really works so hack number two is removing the glue on your lace using a pen or a stick this hack worked i would say it worked um i will say that because it leaves such a mess use a stick or a pen that you no longer need i realized that there will be little balls little very really small residues balls of lace i mean of glue that the pen in my case i used a pen the pen does not remove and you will have to soak some glue remover or some oil onto the lace for a few minutes leave it there for a few minutes just to remove any residue so i will say that it works best on dry so once you remove your install it will be wet somehow from all the products that you use to remove it off your skin let it dry and let it be bone dry then come through with this hack Going forward, I think I'll be using this one, this hack, and also the hack number one, the spritz hack. I'll be incorporating them in my wig routines. Hack number three was using dry shampoo. So now this one I'm on the fence about because the creator, the original creator, used it to reduce the shine on your synthetic wigs. I found that it it did remove the shine however it was very muted it was very subtle it was a very difficult for you to even see it on camera the camera didn't pick that up i don't know if it's maybe because i used a black wig or a lightly colored wig whereas the original creator used a very bright red wig so maybe the results are more visible on a brightly colored wig but i didn't like it for the reasons that the original creator used it for to remove shine on your synthetic wigs i liked it because afterwards let me tell you it refreshed my synthetic wigs like nothing it feels like i had washed and conditioned and blow dried and straightened the wig like it feels so soft so silky that is what i'm going to be using dry shampoo for and that is what dry shampoo is used for anyway it's to just revive the hair a bit in between your washes for it to reduce shine i don't think it works but for it to revive and refresh your synthetic wigs it works if you want your synthetic wigs to last long you should detangle them as much as possible but you shouldn't wash them as often so i feel like something like a dry shampoo would be very helpful it would extend the life of your synthetic wigs okay so hack number four it's not really a hack it's more of a product plug this is the glamour hairspray i don't know where i've been because i'm loving this hairspray the glamour hairspray together with this lace frontal adhesive hairspray are my go-to's they are my go-to lace sprays i don't really like got to be anymore it leaves a white residue it runs or drips very quickly it's very difficult to clean up that glamour hairspray worked fast drying extra hold no white residue they are right and 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 it is 150 mils worth of product for 57 rand for me that is what won me over the price i got it from cosmetic connection and it's also available at dragon city if you want to see the review that i did on the glamour hairspray how i liked it how the lace install looked make sure to click or tap on the video that you see in the top frame thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye